New York Yankees catcher Gary Sanchez at Tropicana Field. Ken Clement, USA Today Sports, Yankees catcher Gary Sanchez admitted he struggled immensely last season, but he hopes to put those behind him in 2019. I don't give excuses, Sanchez said, according to the New York Post's Greg Joyce. Last year was a bad year. We're in a new year, a different year, the 26-year-old Sanchez was limited to 89 games with various leg injuries and recorded a batting line of .186, .291, .406 with 18 home runs and 53 RBIs. It was an extremely disappointing season for Sanchez, who finished second in Rookie of the Year voting in 2016 and hit .278 with 33 home runs and 90 RBIs in his first full season in 2017. The Yankees were active this offseason in determining who their catcher would be. They were involved in trade talks circulating around Noah Syndergaard and JT. Real Muto, who went to the Phillies earlier this week, however, the Marlins wanted both Sanchez and Miguel Andujar in those discussions. Yankees GM Brian Cashman denied the team's interest in Real Muto and reaffirmed his confidence in Sanchez. We definitely look forward to him coming back to what we saw a little bit in the postseason and what we saw in the previous years, Cashman said in December. Sanchez hopes to learn from his down 2018 season and put that behind him. I'm confident of that, that this year will be better than last year, Sanchez said. Sanchez arrived at the Yankees minor league complex in Tampa, Florida, earlier this week, days before pitchers and catchers are required to report, in hopes to get a head start for the season, I'm trying to prepare myself now here with the team, Sanchez said. To stay healthy is what I'm hoping for and to try and help the team more, October 3, 2018, Los Angeles, California, USA, Los Angeles Dodgers infielder Manny Machado waits for his turn in the batting cage prior to Game 1 of the 2018 NLDS Playoff Baseball Series at Dodger Stadium. Mandatory credit, Robert Hanashiro USA Today Sports, Robert Hanashiro, the Yankees' pursuit of Manny Machado has been slow to say the least, as GM Brian Cashman hasn't taken a real leap at the all-star infielder. However, they have always been in the race for his services next season despite the lack of urgency. Cashman and the Yankees, though, did discuss numbers with Machado, and former Mets GM Jim Duquette found out what the price range was, what I was told here recently was the Yankees' offer, these aren't out there not necessarily in writing, but hypothetical, was somewhere in that 7-year, 8-year range for $220 million, John Harper, SNY.TV, Twitter, in a month or so, it will feel as if spring training may never end. But for now, as official workouts begin in the next few days, there is hardly a more welcome sight in sports, especially for New Yorkers looking desperately for a reason to believe the city's championship drought has to end sometime. Yes, nothing sells hope quite like baseball in the Florida sunshine, especially when there is reason for optimism in Tampa. Baseball Commissioner Rob Manfred gestures while speaking during a Major League Baseball owners meeting on Tuesday, February 20, 2018 in Glendale, Arizona. AP Photo, Ben Margo, Ben Margo, AP, two of baseball's biggest stars remain free agents with spring training just about to open, but MLB Commissioner Rob Manfred is hoping they'll be signed before then. Speaking at the owners' meetings in Orlando, Manfred said, Obviously, we want our star players signed and ready to go when we start playing, according to USA Today. Seattle Mariners starting pitcher James Paxton throws against the Houston Astros during the first inning at Safeco Field. Joe Nicholson, USA Today Sports, James Paxton understands being a Yankee carries high expectations, and he believes New York's rotation can live up to the hype. Paxton was perhaps the Yankees' biggest offseason move, coming to New York in a trade with the Mariners, and is expected to be one of the Yankees' top two pitchers alongside Luis Severino. And he knows the team is in a win-now mode. I feel like playing with the Yankees, you're expected to win, Paxton said, according to the New York Post's Greg Joyce. It's World Series or bust for Yankees fans, and I'm excited about having that pressure and being on a team that's so committed to winning, New York Yankees starting pitcher J.A. 
pitches against the Kansas City Royals in the second inning at Yankee Stadium, Noah K. Murray, USA Today Sports, Chris Carelli, SNY, TV Facebook, Twitter, About Me, Archives The Yankees understood additions, or re-additions in this case, to the rotation would be in order this offseason. J.A. Happ was an obvious choice. New York Yankees Miguel Andujar is congratulated after scoring on a ground-out Greg Bird during the third inning of a baseball game against the Toronto Blue Jays, Saturday, August 18, 2018, in New York. AP Photo, Julio Cortez, AP, Andy Martino, SNY.TV, Twitter, at the winter meetings in December, we reported the Mets, Yankees and Marlins were talking about a three-way trade involving Noah Syndergaard and JT. Real Muto. At the time, we heard that Miami asked about Gary Sanchez or Miguel Andujar. Well, get this. Today we learned, according to a person with direct knowledge of the talks, the exact proposal that Miami made, it was Real Muto to the Mets, Syndergaard to the Yankees, and Andujar plus Sanchez to the Marlins. Joel Sherman of The Post tweeted similar information a few minutes ago. Kim Clement, just two days after Yankees manager Aaron Boone said he thought the club's 2019 roster was set, owner Hal Steinbrenner left the door ajar for a major acquisition. As remote as the possibility may be, Steinbrenner on Thursday did not rule out the Yankees adding another marquee player, such as Bryce Harper or Manny Machado, before the season begins. August 11, 2016, Arlington, Texas, USA, a general view of the MLB logo with Colorado Rockies batting gear on it during the game against the Texas Rangers at Globe Life Park in Arlington. Colorado Rockies won 12-9. Mandatory credit, Tim Heitman USA Today Sports, Tim Heitman, the disabled list is a thing of the past. ESPN reported Thursday that MLB is renaming the disabled list the injured list. It's doing this, according to the report, because of concern that disabilities and injuries could be viewed similarly. Chris Carelli, SNY, TV, Facebook, Twitter, About Me, Archives Yankees GM Brian Cashman was never more prophetic than on February 7, 2014. We view him to be a really solid, consistent number three starter, Cashman said on The Herd with Colin Cowherd on ESPN Radio that day. If we get more than that, all the better. He's got a great deal of ability. Just days before the Yankees introduced Masahiro Tanaka to the pinstripe faithful, Cashman spun a then-seemingly ludicrous prediction for the club's new $155 million pitcher. Many laughed because Tanaka was clearly being paid to front a rotation, making the statement an obvious attempt to temper expectations for a player that was about to make a difficult transition. September 16, 2018, Bronx, NY, USA, New York Yankees pitcher Zach Britton, 53, pitches against the Toronto Blue Jays during the ninth inning at Yankee Stadium. Mandatory credit, Catalina Fragoso USA Today Sports, Catalina Fragoso, there is no Zach Britton on the Yankees anymore. Introducing, Zach Britton. The Yankees reliever said he will go by his legal name, Zach, instead of my stage name, Zach, for the future. Baseball Commissioner Rob Manfred gestures while speaking during a Major League Baseball owners meeting on Tuesday, February 20, 2018 in Glendale, Arizona. AP Photo, Ben Margo, Ben Margo, AP, significant changes could be coming to Major League Baseball, the league and the players' union have exchanged proposals which address pace of play, competitive integrity and service time manipulation, below are some of the details of each proposal, which was reported by Ken Rosenthal of The Athletic on Tuesday. We are very excited to announce that we have a new commenting platform that we'll be launching on Thursday. SNY has partnered with Spot. I am to bring you a more dynamic commenting experience across our website. In the process, we migrated your current LiveFire user accounts and hundreds of thousands of comments to the new system. The look is slightly different than before and we've added some great, new features. You'll still be able to publish comments and follow conversations in real time. You'll continue to benefit from threaded conversations. 
and if you have notification settings enabled, you will receive emails alerting you when others reply to one of your comments or mention you. August 28, 2018, Bronx, NY, USA, New York Yankees third baseman Miguel Andujar, 41, throws a runner out at first base to end the top of the fifth inning against the Chicago White Sox at Yankee Stadium. Mandatory credit, Wendell Cruz USA Today Sports, Wendell Cruz, while all of baseball was, and still is, following where Manny Machado may sign, the links of him to the Yankees most directly impacted Miguel Andujar, yet the Yankees' third baseman has managed to stay positive all winter, while Machado remains unsigned, it appears, for now, that the Yankees will enter spring training with Andujar as their starting third baseman, and the 23-year-old was never anxious about the Yankees possibly signing the four-time All-Star infielder, Didi Gregorius, 18, mandatory credit, Jerry Jerry Angus USA Today Sports, Jerry Angus, Didi Gregorius is ready to begin working his way back to the field, the Yankees shortstop, who underwent Tommy John surgery on his right elbow at the end of the 2018 season, was cleared to begin a throwing program, manager Aaron Boone said at the Thurman Munson dinner at the Grand Hyatt in Midtown on Tuesday, everything is going well and according to plan, Boone said, Boone talks Munson, 2019 Yanks 0 hours 3 minutes and 3 seconds SNY's Sweeney Murdy goes one-on-one -on -one with Yankees manager Aaron Boone at the annual Thurman Munson dinner in New York City. As Yankees manager Aaron Boone brushed off any notion of Bryce Harper or Manny Machado joining his lineup this year, he did touch on the ones the team did add this offseason. While those big-name free agents have yet to find a new home, GM Brian Cashman has improved the Yankees, both on the mound and at the plate. Boone is confident that no rock was left unturned this offseason, with the Yankees looking to catch the World Series champion Red Sox in the AL East. As the Yankees, we've explored everything and been involved, I know Cash has kicked the tires on so many different things, explored so many different options, Boone told SNY's Sweeney Murdy at the 39th annual Thurman Munson Awards dinner, where he was one of the honorees for the night. I think as we sit here today in February I think it's hard to deny the fact that we've had a really good winter in shoring up our roster and bringing in some really high-level players and feel like we have a team that's capable of going out there and competing with the best, New York Yankees manager Aaron Boone addresses the media prior to Game 3 of the 2018 ALDS against the Boston Red Sox at Yankee Stadium. Kevin R. Wexler slash North Jersey.com via USA Today Network Aaron Judge may be willing to move out of right field in order to make room for Bryce Harper, but Yankees manager Aaron Boone does not think he will have to worry about that. Well, I don't think that scenario is a realistic one for us at this point, Boone said on Tuesday at the Thurman Munson dinner at the Grand Hyatt, per Brendan Cuddy of NJ.com. Harper, 26, remains unsigned just one week before pitchers and catchers report around the league. Chris Carelli, SNY, TV, Facebook, Twitter, About Me, Archives, If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. It might seem as if the Yankees should do anything to remove Jacoby Ellsbury from the roster, so when another club poses even the least bit of interest in his services, strong consideration must be given by New York. According to ESPN's Buster Olney, the Giants have held internal discussions about Ellsbury and the club's potential opening in center field. Olney suggests the old bad contract for bad contract swap, which is sometimes effective for both clubs. Olney goes on to list several Giants players that at least match up closely in the salary department with Ellsbury's remaining $47 plus million. What are the pros and cons to the Yankees waving the white flag and pulling the trigger in a deal for Ellsbury? Chris Carelli, SNY, TV, Facebook, Twitter, About Me, Archives, If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Long before erasing Sonny Gray from memory, the Yankees pulled off a similarly wishful trade for James Paxton with the hope that he will succeed where Gray could not by ascending to the top of the club's rotation depth chart. The Yankees were mistaken with Gray and the team absolutely cannot endure a repeat experience with the 30-year-old Paxton. We've already described why Luis Severino might not be able to carry the Yankees' rotation alone, and as such, Paxton's performance in 2019 is tantamount to the club's success. New York Yankees right fielder Aaron Judge reacts to a fan in the 11th inning against the Miami Marlins at Marlins Park. 
Steve Mitchell, USA Today Sports, Aaron Judge wants free agent Bryce Harper to make the right choice in selecting a team. But he's willing to make that choice easier by voluntarily opting to change positions for the outfielder, with one week to go until pitchers and catchers report for spring training, Harper is still shopping the market for the right team. The Yankees are not totally out of the running for the MVP, but they're not showing signs of landing him either. So Judge, the implied spokesperson of the Yankees, took matters in his own hands during an interview with TMZ. Jacoby Ellsbury, 22, mandatory credit, Kim Clement USA Today Sports, Kim Clement, the Yankees may have an opportunity to rid themselves of Jacoby Ellsbury, per ESPN's Buster Olney, the San Francisco Giants are looking for outfield help and have discussed Ellsbury as a potential option by acquiring him through a bad contract swap, whether or not they have discussed details. With the Yankees is unconfirmed, but regardless of how the Giants may present a deal, the money would have to even out. September 30, 2018, Denver, Colorado, USA, Colorado Rockies third baseman Nolan Arnato, 28, celebrates his second home run of the game, a solo home run in the seventh inning against the Washington Nationals at Coors Field. Mandatory credit, Ron Chinoy USA Today Sports, Ron Chinoy, if the Yankees' real third base target is Nolan Arnato, as SNY's Andy Martino reported on Jan. 18 could be the case, they might want to rethink that strategy. Arnato, who is in the final year of team control with the Rockies, recently avoided arbitration by agreeing to a one-year deal worth $26 million. And the nature of the negotiations left Rockies owner Dick Monfort feeling confident the team will be able to sign Arenado long-term before he gets a chance to taste free agency. Monfort said the two sides avoiding arbitration, sorts of put to rest on both sides that we want Nolan and Nolan wants to be with us, March 24, 2018, Lakeland, FL, USA, general view of the field as the Philadelphia Phillies take batting practice prior to the game against the Detroit Tigers at Publix Field at Joker Marchant Stadium. Mandatory credit, Douglas DeFellis USA Today Sports, Douglas DeFellis, Andy Martino, SNY.TV, Twitter, with less than two weeks before pitchers and catchers report to spring training, dozens and dozens of quality major league free agents remain jobless. But there are no plans for the Players Association to repeat last year's experiment with a training camp for unsigned players, according to major league sources. Last year, approximately 30 major league players, including recognizable names like Mike Napoli, Neil Walker and Tyler Clippard, attended what came to be known as Camp Jobless in Bradenton, Florida. The idea was to keep in shape and be ready when a team called late into spring training. New York Yankees right fielder Estevan Florial hits an RBI single during the fourth inning against the Detroit Tigers at Publix Field at Joker Marchant Stadium. Kim Clement, USA Today Sports The Yankees' farm system is not what it used to be. ESPN's Keith Law produced his rankings of all 30 MLB farm systems this week and the Yankees saw a significant drop from Law's 2018 preseason rank, falling to 19th from 2nd overall, much of the reason for the fall is because many of the Yankees' top prospects from last season, such as Glaber Torres and Miguel Andujar, are now on the MLB roster. New York Yankees starting pitcher Luis Severino throws a pitch to the Toronto Blue Jays during the first inning of a baseball game, Saturday, August. 18, 2018, in New York, AP Photo, Julio Cortez, AP, Yankees RHP Luis Severino was ranked MLB Network's 8th best pitcher in the league. The 24-year-old Severino, who went 19-8 with a 3.39 era and 32 starts in 2018, was the fourth-best pitcher in the American League, trailing Boston's Chris Sale, second, Cleveland's Corey Kluber, fourth, and Houston's Justin Verlander, fifth. Among National League pitchers, Max Scherzer was ranked number one, Jacob Degram third, Aaron Nola sixth and Clayton Kershaw seventh. The Indians Carlos Carrasco, 9th, and the Rays Blake Snell, 10th, rounded out the top 10. October 2, 2018, Bronx, NY, USA, New York Yankees pitcher CC Sabathia throws the ball during workouts one day before the 2018 American League wildcard playoff baseball game at Yankee Stadium.
Mandatory credit, Danielle Parhaskarin slash NorthJersey.com via USA Today Sports, Danielle Parhaskarin, CC Sabathia cannot believe that Manny Machado and Bryce Harper are still free agents. The Yankees starting pitcher, who resigned a one-year deal with the Yankees in November, expressed his shock at the current state of free agency this week on his podcast, R2C2, with Ryan Ruocco, it's crazy. So crazy to me, Sabathia said. I don't know what's happening, I have no answers. I just think it's effing nuts, Andy Martino, SNY.TV, Twitter, the slow free agent market has left many quality players available in February, and the Yankees and Mets remain engaged with agents, looking for ways to improve. While both teams have likely completed the bulk of their off-season work and are happy with their respective rosters both continue to monitor the market for starting pitching depth. Neither Brian Cashman nor Brody Van Wagenen is wired to sit back and disengage, when potential upgrades remain available. New York Yankees right fielder Estevan Florio hits an RBI single during the fourth inning against the Detroit Tigers at Publix Field at Joker Marchant Stadium. Kim Clement, USA Today Sports, the Yankees announced on Friday, 21 non-roster invites to spring training this year, the group includes 13 signed to minor league contracts and 8 farm hands. Perhaps the most notable non-roster invite is outfielder Estevan Florial, who is ranked as the Yankees' top prospect by MLB Pipeline, Chris Carelli, SNY, TV, Facebook, Twitter, About Me, Archives Mariano Rivera couldn't do it. Neither could Derek Jeter. Now, it is CC Sabathia's chance to walk away from the game with the World Series trophy in his hands. After signing his one-year, $8 million deal with the Yankees, Sabathia proclaimed that he would be retiring at season's end. The ultimate goal for Sabathia has always been a title, and the core of this Yankees squad has provided the 38-year-old enough for one last shot. September 27, 2018, Street. Petersburg, FL, USA, New York Yankees third baseman Neil Walker, 14, looks on during the first inning at Tropicana Field. Mandatory credit, Kim Clement USA Today Sports, Kim Clement, Anthony McCarron, SNY.TV, Twitter, there are stars, bargains, and talent that's in between still remaining on baseball's free agent market, even though it sometimes seems the pilot light has gone out on the hot stove season. But does waiting too long to sign with a team negatively impact the kind of season a player figures to have? Neil Walker thinks so and has the worst month and a half of my entire career last year to offer as evidence. Walker signed with the Yankees on March 12 and had a lousy start to a subpar season, with his lack of a proper spring training at least partly to blame, the veteran says. Andy Martino, SNY.TV, Twitter, the centennial of Jackie Robinson's birth presents the opportunity to honor one of the 20th century's great civil rights pioneers and celebrate baseball's long-ago role in that struggle. It should also be an occasion to remember Robinson for what he really was, a thoughtful, nuanced and righteously angry public figure whose ideas were sharp enough that they would still be highly controversial today, if people took the time to consider them. One of the great aspects of Robinson's true legacy is that if he were active now in public life, he would be as controversial as Colin Kaepernick, whose football career ended because he took a knee during the anthem. And please don't waste our time by saying that his blackballing happened for any other reason, John Harper, SNY.TV, Twitter, last year there was a relatively simple answer to the question of why baseball's free agent market was frozen, wait, till next year. Only here it is, next year, and two of the most desirable free agents to ever hit the market, Bryce Harper and Manny Machado at age 26, are among the 100-plus major leaguers still and signed as spring training approaches, so now it's clear the climate officially has changed in the way teams are doing business. The Yankees have been in pursuit of free agent 3B, SS Manny Machado, who is reportedly looking for a deal that will pay him roughly $300 million over 10 years. Here are the latest rumors, Jan. 
5.30, 5.52 p.m. Even though there are several teams interested in Machado with nearly two weeks to go before pitchers and catchers report to spring training, a decision is not considered imminent, according to Fox Sports' John Morosi, and he has not yet met with Padres officials. Chicago White Sox pitcher Danny Farquhar reacts after throwing out a ceremonial first pitch after suffering a brain hemorrhage prior to a game between the Chicago White Sox and the Milwaukee Brewers at Guaranteed Rate Field. Patrick Gorski, USA Today Sports veteran relief pitcher Danny Farquhar vowed to return to the baseball diamond from a life-threatening brain hemorrhage and ruptured aneurysm he suffered last year. And there's a four-game window in June he's eyeing. Farquhar, who hasn't pitched since last April when he suffered a season-ending brain hemorrhage, signed a minor league deal with the Yankees earlier this month with an invite to spring training. New York Yankees outfielder Esteban Florio during the Arizona Fall League All-Star Game at Surprise Stadium, Mark J. Rebelis, USA Today Sports, in ranking the top 100 prospects in baseball, ESPN's Keith Law believes the Yankees' top prospect isn't outfielder Esteban Florial. Law only had one Yankee in his top prospects list, RHP Davy Garcia, while Florial and outfielder Everson Pereira made Laws, who just missed the top 10, list. Luis Severino Chris Carelli, SNY, TV Facebook, Twitter, About Me, Archives, Every Baseball Club with Realistic Postseason Aspirations Requires an Anchor for the Starting Rotation, the proverbial, Ace, World Series Championship Caliber Teams are led by a stalwart, ever-dependent hurler that dominates more often than not or digs deep and wins when his stuff is not at its best. This pitcher exudes a bulldog mentality, provides 30-plus regular season starts and once games reach playoff intensity there isn't a hint of concern from his club when he's on the mound. The Yankees believe they have groomed this type of pitcher in soon-to-be 25-year-old right-hander Luis Severino. But if he isn't what they're hoping for, they could be in serious trouble this season. Yankees RHP Jonathan Loisiga, Adam Hunger, USA Today Sports The Yankees had two players named to the new baseball prospectus top 101 prospects list, and the same players were their only two representatives on MLB Pipeline's new top 100 prospects list. Avestavin Florial, no. 57, and RHP Jonathan Loisiga, no. 66, made the cut for the Yanks. Florial was no. 66 on the baseball prospectus list, while Florial was no. 66. Former Yankees prospect Justice Sheffield, who was dealt to the Mariners in the trade for IHP James Paxton, came in at no. 43 on MLB Pipeline's list, September 28, 2018, Denver, Colorado, USA, Colorado Rockies relief pitcher Adam Ottavino, 0, delivers a pitch in the eighth inning against the Washington Nationals at Coors Field. Mandatory credit, Russell Lansford USA Today Sports Russell Lansford, before joining the Yankees, veteran bullpen arm Adam Adovino made a very bold claim about one of their most celebrated players not just in franchise history, but in the history of the game. Adovino said he would strike out Babe Ruth every time on MLB's StatCast podcast, and it made headlines pretty quickly. Well, Ottavino thought it's smart to walk back those comments a tad during his first conference call with New York media on Friday afternoon, according to the Athletics' Lindsay Adler, Ottavino admitted that while explaining the of